Hello everyone, today we're going to be checking out this new game called Cosmic Reach. This game started out as a mind clone experiment by Final for Each on YouTube, uh, a project where he aimed to create a more optimized version of Minecraft. I've been following his channel since the very start, so it's very exciting to get to play this myself as uh, the game forms its own identity. As of now, this game is very similar to Minecraft Classic, the oldest version of Minecraft where there wasn't much to do besides build and destroy with a limited set of items, but Cosmic Reach is already much much larger than Minecraft Classic, and I definitely see this game going places in the future. So it's super cool to be a part of this community early on. Also, sorry for the shitty audio, uh, I'm currently away from home and making this video on my laptop. But uh, without further ado, let's get started. So, it's in very early development, but you'll see it's already a very large game for our development. So, uh, it takes on the moon instead of on uh, an Earth like planet, which I think is super cool. And you can already see that the performance is like way way better than Minecraft was in its classic form. Uh, I'm getting about between 70 and 100 frames per second here on my laptop and uh, when I play Minecraft Classic on this laptop I get like 30 frames per second on short render distance. This is with 32 chunks rendered and I'm already getting much better performance on this. So yeah you can break blocks like this, and uh, you can also place blocks. There's a, a bunch of blocks here that you can choose from, and uh, yeah, you can build stuff, you can break stuff. So before I get to building anything, I think I'm just going to run around here and explore the terrain, and just check out what this moon has to offer. So there's these sort of cobblestone looking blocks here and regular moonstone. As far as I'm aware, none of these blocks are naturally generating except for these moonstone blocks here. But there is wood and there is grass and dirt, which leads me to believe those things are definitely coming in the future. Uh, and there's only a moon world option right now, but in the future there will be other world types, which is cool. But I do like the moon, I think it's super cool. And definitely lots of room to build things. Like you could build something huge here. And like look at this crater. Uh, you can also fly, which you can't do in classic Minecraft. But look at this. The game is loading all of this very very well. If I were doing this in Minecraft right now it would not be very nice on my laptop. But here I can just fly up and see that's not even the highest it can render. You can go all the way up to 96 chunks which admittedly is trickier to render. Also, look at that, it's, it's all rendering over there. Uh, but look at that, I'm still, I'm not at 60 frames per second anymore, but the game is still running fairly smooth for the amount of terrain that's being rendered right now. It's starting to drop a bit now, but this is still very impressive. Like, look at how much terrain this thing loads. You can also change the lighting, so you can make it darker, you can make it nighttime, so that was daytime, this is nighttime. And this is like a more Earth daytime feel, like with a blue sky. I'm going to turn the view distance back down, just so that I can get more consistent performance here. There's also the orange sky, which is my personal favorite. Because now it feels, it kind of feels like we're on Mars now. Also, that's a fun glitch. If you go up real high, and then 
drop back down really fast, you'll just fall into the floor. <laughs> also, can you jump higher than one block? No. But, yeah, the orange sky is definitely my favorite. And then there's also pitch dark, so you literally can't see anything unless you place down lights like that. And there's also colored lighting, so check that out. It's not just white lighting like in Minecraft. So like having a blue light next to red light will make a purple sort of light. There's also this overcast, which is also pretty cool. But I think I like Space Day and Orange Sky the most. I'm definitely very excited to see where this game goes in the future. I think this definitely, definitely is going places. Especially if there's survival mode added, as opposed to just creative mode. You can also move around with uh, the inventory open. And there's vertical slabs, which is interesting. There's also, you can put down water, which doesn't flow, it, it just sort of stays there, which is a bit odd. But it is there. It will just float. And you can't actually break it like this, unless you place something over it. I can literally just fill one of these craters full with water. So let's let's go over to this small crater right here. I can just put some water on the moon. And there we go. We have successfully filled a moon crater with glitchy looking water. Now that I'm done messing around, I think it's time to actually find a good place to build something. I wonder if it's possible for flat terrain to actually generate, because a lot of it seems like just hills. So I might have to clear off a, an area to build. But that's no problem, I'll do that right now. Okay, here we go. Now, I have a good amount of flat space to work with. So, I think I want to build like some sort of moon base. Damn, that took a long time, and my arm is a little bit sore, so uh, let's think here. Alright, let's see what I can build with, uh, with this sort of palette.
All right, now, um, I know it isn't much. Uh, I've only really been on here messing around for an hour, but uh, this is my little moon base. You can walk in the front. There's a table with some chairs here. There's a, an explosives device right here, kept safe between the wooden blocks. This is the rocket ship, which doesn't have a proper entrance. I sort of just slapped it together for the look of it, but the atmosphere is there. I mean, it's definitely not the prettiest to build in the world, but the atmosphere is certainly there. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the colored lights and the art style, and uh, also just of the fact that it takes place on the moon. I think that's super cool. Uh... So yeah, quick little video for you guys, uh, but uh, anyways, yeah, thank you so much for watching, uh, I really hope you enjoyed this little small video showcasing this very promising future potential of a game, like look at this, this is running very nicely on my shitty old laptop. Whereas if I was trying to load all this in Minecraft, my computer would be spazzing. But uh, that's going to be the end of the video today. Let's see if I can phase through the glass. Oh, yeah. I phased through the top with no clip disabled. But anyways, yeah, that's, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.